Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a walkthrough for the FPV conversion of the micro quadcopter, the Super X here. To do this FPV conversion, you're going to need a few items. The first item would be the micro camera. This is the 2 grams camera from Foxtech FPV.com. You could find similar ones like this from AliExpress, Banggood, eBay and the price for these cameras have gone down quite a fair bit. When you mount the camera here, you got to change the orientation of the LiPo pack in order to maintain the correct center of gravity. Okay, the other thing I have done here is add a piece of wood to provide support for the stock antenna of the Nano multi v board. The stock antenna is a little piece of wire and it usually breaks the joint here. So this piece of wood will provide support for it. Now besides the camera, you are going to need a video transmitter to transmit the live footage back to your ground station or your video goggles. You could have your choice of the 1.2 GHz video transmitter or the 5.8 GHz video transmitter. With the 5.8, you will need to use a circular polarized antenna, which is the Krober leaf. So you could take a standard Krober, cut it here, and then solder it to the transmitter. For the 1.2 GHz video transmitter, it comes pre-soldered with the linear antenna, so you could use it right away. Besides the video transmitter, you will need the voltage regulators. The reason for that is your LiPo pack is actually 4.2 volts, but this video transmitter runs on 5 volts, and this one runs on 3.3 volts. So I have the 5 volts regulator over here. This one is the regulator that outputs a standard 5 volts. And this one over here has a potentiometer which you could adjust the output to become 3.3 for the 5.8 module. Now I'm working on the 5 volts, the standard regulator here. And what I've done is I get a little Wakara connector. This connector is the same as the servo connectors of the servo in the micro MCPX helicopter. Get one of these connectors, remove the signal pin, and leaving the ground and the positive. And then you could solder the ground and positive to the voltage regulator. So basically, the red wire goes to the voltage pin, and then the black wire goes to the ground. After you have soldered the connector, then you could add two more wires for the output. This will be the ground out and this will be the voltage out. So with these two wires, you could use it to supply 5 volts to your video transmitters and also to the micro camera. The reason for using this connector is it could directly plug the voltage regulator onto your nano multi V board. Let me show you. By doing this, you could save the space which you will need for the video transmitter. So you can have all the room outside for the video transmitter, this is the 1.2, or you could have the 5.8 with the Clover of course. Yep, basically this is how you would do the FPV conversion for the Super X. Alright, that's all I have. Thank you for watching and see you next time.